This unremarkable old church on a hill outside Orvieto holds a secret. Behind these doors is a collection of old motorcycles, mainly Lambrettas, a great mod icon from the 60s. She loves her Lambretta. How did you get to be in this extraordinary position? We just happened to walk into a gallery and shop. <laughs> and next thing you know, here we are. <laughs> One fine day, Kelsey, blonde and blue-eyed and the dark and sultry Rene, wandered into my gallery in Orvieto. They were intrigued by the pictures on the right that I called the Belle, photos inspired by famous artworks. I'm very forthright and almost immediately asked them if they'd like to participate in a new project. They didn't seem averse, so we went over the road to an osteria to talk about it further over a glass of wine. I showed them a sketch of what I had in mind. I even had a few test shots of myself trying out the set. My idea was to do the three graces seated on scooters and fate had brought two of them into my gallery. But what about the third? It's a problem finding three equally beautiful women who would all turn up on the same day at the same time and pose naked for nothing. This is why fruitless years had gone by. And then I had an idea. The Victorian painter Burne Jones became obsessed with the exotic looks of Maria Zambaco and used her constantly. What's more, he used her for all three of his graces and many other paintings beside. I could do likewise. I was very struck by Kelsey's similarity to another Grace, Grace Kelly. So on the day of the shoot, I took Kelsey to the hairdresser to have a 50s hairdo. Then we drove to the location. And there, Kelsey opened a bottle of Prosecco. Chin chin. How are you? Franco, come in. Before we got started, I introduced the girls to Franco, who restored the scooters. I had entertained the idea of bringing him into the shoot as Paris in the Judgment of Paris, who hands a golden apple to the most beautiful woman, or in his case, a speedometer. <laughs> and wh where are you exactly? We don't really know. A church, an old <laughs> church in Orvieto. Orvieto. <laughs> in Italy. And what are you going to do? Mm, ride these books. Get cycle first. Get naked. <laughs> Get naked and wasted. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you're going to be in a work of art. Yes, we're going to be in a work of art. She loves her What's he in the eye, Frank? He's 73. He's 73? What? Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is a, a speedometer from a Topolino, which is a 1940s convertible car. At the outset, I thought that I might use both Kelsey and the beautiful Renee along with Franco as Paris. But later on I changed my mind, deciding to eliminate both of them for a simpler, less cluttered image. This was an earlier Paris version with Franco. Instead, I decided to shoot Renee separately as a Pirelli calendar girl at another location and then hang her on the mechanic's wall. So you can come through. You've oh, done a smoky. really sterling job. <laughs> Renee and, um, I was in pictures. Um, right there, your bummer. You, um, the, the pose was great before, do you remember? I think you, you, she needs to be a bit she twisted around a bit more. She, she, was, she was holding on to the helmet. Oh, yeah, 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 the helmet. Could you give her the helmet, please? Just like, Yeah, the hairdresser did such a good job. I mean, when you're in profile, yeah. that's it. I mean, you look exactly like Grace Kelly. I mean, exactly like Grace Kelly. Have you got any sort of um, Monaco princes lined up? I mean, no. Any? no. We're trying to find them. We can't, but if you know any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Right, so we've done the demure ones. Okay, next motorcycle. Around the back. Uh, try and leave the, the steering wheel in the, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Well, we've done it all before, so we just have to do it again. <laughs> I will. I don't 
off the road doesn't help me. Much easier for you to just do that. Like, but maybe you know. There's some toy shot. It's actually a really interesting story, but I have to look it up again. What's it like? It's not bad. Is it? It's bad. Now you're going to have to find somewhere that's really comfortable because you're going to have to lie down and be still. So, uh, see what you can do, really. In the afternoon, we went off to Bulci on the Tuscan border to do the Pirelli style calendar shoot. Bulci is not the Seychelles, but there are plenty of great shots to be had in the gorge. The picture was not yet finished. I still had to add a few important details. In went the calendar on the left. And I thought, just like Hitchcock, who gave himself a cameo role in his film Rear Window, I should get myself in. In the rear view mirror of the Lambretta on the left. Then I've put a poster from the movie Rear Window on the right. It's about a voyeuristic photographer, so also quite fitting. Followed by a couple more details you'd find in a mechanics workshop on the back wall. I put in some typical mod bits and bobs like the roundel on the spare wheel and My Generation by The Who on the helmet to anchor the image in mid-60s London. <laughs> 